fencing it up in Santa Barbara, or actually it's past Santa Barbara. Let's turn on the lights. We are at the, what is this called again? It's called the Ritz Carlton. And it's like 10 minutes after, like right in between the airport, after the airport in Santa Barbara. And um, Santa Barbara. So it's kind of West Galeta. I think it's called Galeta, Galeta or whatever, something like that. Um, oh, another adjoining door. Oh, joy. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit quiet, so it'll be fine. But uh, on the coast, um, we um, were at, in Santa Barbara. We were going to stay this weekend at the Marmonte by Hyatt and decided not to because uh, of the two beds. If you uh, look at the review for the Marmonte in Santa Barbara, you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, decided to go here instead. So, courtyard. This is a deluxe king room. And it's in building number four. There are quite a few of these villas is what they called it. They call it villas. I am not sure I want to call it that, but that's what they call them. We uh, used 85,000, I think it was, Bonvoy points and paid $200 for the club upgrade for one night, which I think it's worth uh, to get the nicer room and the bigger room uh, than the other building. Uh, there is full lunch. There is afternoon tea with champagne. There is a full bar and hors d'oeuvres and a light dinner. We're gonna go out to dinner locally here anyways, but uh, yeah, let's, so that's the club upgrade that we opted to go for. I think it's worth $200 to get a better room and everything. They also offered us a oceanfront room, uh, deluxe room. It would be the same as this, but it would have a view. Uh, but the room was uh, 3 p.m. late checkout, so we opted not to do that. So they did offer us an upgrade and we declined it uh, for that. Looks like they got a little fireplace, got some water. They got espresso capsules, which is great. They have no mini bar at the Ritz Carlton. Wow. We kindly requested you leave all containers farm of pharmaceutical and personal care products. Guests from Vet is here. Where our ladies and my collect and dispose of them appropriately. Okay. I thought it was gonna be a sign that if you want us to fill out the mini bar, we can do that for you. But I guess not. Where is the Nespresso machine? I don't see it yet. Hmm. Okay. What does it say here? It says, provided for your convenience and coffee and tea in the room. Hmm. I don't see it though. Condiment kit. Is it not here? Oh, it can't be. There's, there's no room for an espresso machine in there. Ah, maybe it's in the uh, on the closet here. There is not. There's a safe. I don't know anymore. There's slippers, a couple of robes. Actually, one robe. The other one is probably in the bathroom. Let's go check out the bathroom and get that over with. Yep, there's the second robe. Nice little tub. And shower combo. They've got the diptyque stuff, which is the Philopsycho thing. Philopsychos is the uh, uh, one. That, it's a French brand. It's uh, diptyque. It's a really cool brand, actually. Huge upgrade from what they used to have. They have them in here. Wow, that is a tall. Wow, that is a tall. Look at how tall that thing was. Interesting. Um, there's actually a soap. I asked them to get another one. So we have one in the shower as well. They didn't put one in there. Separate throne, which is great. I love the bathroom setup, it's great. And uh, yeah, I guess the only thing missing is the espresso machine, which I will give them a call to see what we got. So this is a pretty cool setup. Very quiet and a nice little patio. Even if there's no ocean view, like I said, they did offer that to us if we would wait. I will report back from some photos from the club lounge and stuff uh, when we uh, complete our stay. So great redemption. You can use your 85,000 a night uh, voucher here if you have the Ritz-Carlton card or the brilliant uh, Amex card from them as a free night. Bear in mind though, when you redeem, it's mandatory 
uh, crazy resort fee. I think it was $70. And also um, parking is also mandatory here. Valet, was, uh, it's about the same. I think also 70 So 150 bucks. But they do have electric charging uh, for cars for free, which they do car charge or call all cars overnight. So worth noting, then you're going to have to fork out that if you're going to redeem. As you know, um, uh, Marriott is the only major chain that doesn't offer resort fees waived like Hilton and Hyatt does when you are redeeming your hard-earned points when you get rewarded for your loyalty. So you're going to have to fork it out here. Besides that, uh, we knew that going in, and I think this is going to be an awesome stay. Giddy up. Right, it is Sunday uh, at the Ritz Carlton Santa Barbara Bacora, which is like five to ten minutes from Santa Barbara Airport, and maybe 15, 20 minutes from downtown to downtown Santa Barbara. Um, it really is a close to up to par on. Uh, Luxury. We had a really nice turndown service last night um, in and um, the club lounge that we paid an upgrade to for two hundred dollars was totally worth it. Uh, they had a really nice lunch. We went there before dinner, had some hors d'oeuvres, which means that we only had a main at dinner, and uh, we went out to a place in Goleta, which is a college town. It was bopping, um, and. Uh, after dinner drinks and desserts when we came back. So that's great. If you think that it's worth $200, I personally think so. Uh, with a full breakfast and uh, full lunch. So you can go there, pool, there's a pool right outside. So you can go from the, to the pool to inside and save yourself, you know, $100 for lunch. You know, burgers like 30 by the pool and uh, all drinks were like, 20 to 30 bucks so I you, you literally save that money back in a heartbeat so if you it's off if it's offered to you great um, it's actually 70,000 is how much this uh, the redemption is um, for off-peak yeah, so we had one day we were thinking about staying one more night we're not gonna do it because the so the Hillary storm is re really not coming to this area and uh, we were decided to uh, but it's still cloudy so I um, and it's going to rain a little bit later today, so I, I think we're going to get out of town uh, instead of staying one more night. And it's, it was seventy thousand. We paid ninety thousand yesterday, which is a peak. Uh, so it's you can definitely use your Ritz Carlton voucher here, uh, or also the Brilliant one for eighty five thousand. You can use at this hotel easily. Uh, I checked the schedule, and there was plenty of availability for that. So I liked it. It was a little bit hotel was a little uneasy, uh, but secure uh, because of the big wedding that was here yesterday. Um, uh, and there was the people above us have been walking around like crazy last night. I don't know what fucking idea what was, excuse my language, but uh, a little bit grumpy about that because, you know, you're in a hotel and who walks around uh, until midnight back and forth in your room? I mean, it's some, there must be something going on up there. But uh, anyways, uh, fell asleep then, great last sleep, uh, phenomenal bedding and uh, what you would expect. Uh, is it worth the 1200 bucks that they uh, demand here? Um, probably not, uh, but uh, I think that uh, for us, with the redemption and an abundance of uh, Bonvoy points, it was totally worth it. The upgrade was worth it. Um, and uh, they also charged uh, our uh, car all the way, so that's great. And so this is definitely a recommend. I would totally stay here. Um, but of course you can't walk to downtown Santa Barbara, you need a car, and that's kind of the, uh, the downfall to it. But great beach, great pool, and all that kind of stuff. Signing off, and enjoy your day.